Hey guys, this is Room the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 292 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you already tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. Under our liability insurance policy, losses are uniformly distributed, so I'm going to call it X's losses. Losses are uniformly distributed on 0 to B, where B is a positive constant. I'm going to call Y my claim payment. And then um, there is a deductible of B over 2. Deductible of B, um, B over 2. Calculate the ratio of the variance of the claim payment greater than or equal to 0 for, from a given loss to the variance of the loss. Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, I think that, that makes sense. So then we know that for X, the variance of X, variance of a uniform distribution, here I'm going to write this in. This color variance of a uniform distribution is equal to um, b minus a over 12, this whole thing squared. So then, because of that, the variance of x is equal to um, 12 minus 0, uh, I mean, <laughs> b minus 0 over squared over 12. So this is our variance of x. And we're trying to find the variance of y. Okay, well, we know that the, um, for y, there is a deductible of b over 2. So anything below b over 2 is 0, and anything over b over 2, the claim payment is going to be x minus b over 2. Okay, so then again, the formula that we love so much, the variance of x is equal to expectation of x squared minus expectation of the x, the whole thing squared. So we need to find those two ingredients. So I Okay, actually, this would be the variance for y, but you know what I mean. So for the expected value of y, you know, I always like to start with the easier one. This would be equal to integration of b over 2 to b. This would be y minus b over 2 times our probability function, which we know is 1 over b dy. Okay, so this would be equal to, I'm going to throw that constant out. So this would be 1 y over b over 2 squared 1 half, integrating this from b over 2 to b. So this will be, I'm going to get keep the constants together, 2b. Plugging in that b for y, we have b minus b over 2, which is just b over 2, squared minus b over 2 minus b over 2, that's just 0 squared. So this is equal to b squared over 4 times 2 times b. One, one of the b's cancel out, so we get b over 8. Okay, so now we're looking for the expected value, the second moment of y squared. Well, then it's just equal to our value, y minus b over 2, this thing squared instead, over 1 over b, dy. Okay, well this is equal to, I'm going to keep the constant out again. This is 1 minus b over 2 cube, 1 third, integrating this from b over 2 to b. I guess it's times 1 technically because of the chain rule, but because it's times 1, I, did, I didn't write it for the, this one or this one, but I'm, I know you guys are smart. You guys got this. <laughs> so this is equal to, I'm going to keep the constants together, 3b, plugging in b here, b minus b over 2, which is just b over 2, this thing cubed, minus b over 2 minus b over 2, that's just 0 cubed. So this we get is b cubed times 8, 2 to the cubed is 8, times 3, times b. Well, one of the b's cancel out, so we get b over 24, or b squared. Oh, close one. Okay, what would be the variance of y? Well, the variance of y, we know is just this value right here, the b squared over 24, minus our expected value squared, right? So this is equal to b squared over 24 minus b squared over 64. All right, all right. Okay, so we got this, we got this. Not too bad, not too bad. I'll use my calculator still, though, because, you know, math. <laughs> so this is equal to 5 over 192b squared. Okay, so then we have to just divide this var uh, variance. We're looking at the ratio of the claim payment 
to our variance, the variance of our x. Okay, so this is equal to 5 over 192b squared in ratio to b squared over 12. Okay, the b squares cancel out. So we get 5 over 192 to 1 over 12. So I'm going to multiply this by 12 on each side, and we get 5 over 5 to 16 is our ratio, which is our answer, D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!